Hey guys, so I'm going to be sharing a bunch of Braum tips with you guys today. So the first one is the Braum Q Flash. So basically you Q and then Flash to cancel the Q cast time animation. So um, it'll cast from where you Flash to. As you can see there, it took a different path to get to where my mouse or my cruiser was. If that makes sense. So I want to show you guys a lane example right now. Uh, there we go. So... Yeah, this is an example in lane. You, the enemies aren't there right now, but you can imagine the enemies are safe behind the minions because your Q can't get, can, can't go through minions. So here, you can unpredictably Q flash, and they'll never see it coming, and it can give you that advantage in lane sometimes when you really need it. So yeah, um, this isn't the only example. You can use this over walls, I'm not, to dodge incoming skill shots and then Q. That could be pretty awesome. So yeah, that's just one example, um, and we'll move on to the next tip now. Okay, guys, and here are two abilities that are actually projectiles that I don't think a lot of people know about. So the first one is Malzahar. This one's not as useful, but um, it blocks completely the damage from Malzahar. I, I don't know why, but it does. Apparently, it's considered a projectile. I can kind of see that, like, little things could be considered projectiles, I guess. This next one, though, is a support, which is very, very useful. You'll probably be going against them um, a couple of times when you play Braum. So it's Lulu. Now, Lulu's actually trying to use Polymorph on the Amumu behind me, but it, the shield is intercepting it and it's hitting me because apparently Polymorph is considered a projectile, which is really useful. So if the Amumu was your AD carry, he, you would be Polymorphed instead of him, which is honestly really powerful. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so this next one is Braum's kind of hidden taunt. So as you can see here, I'm going to intercept the projectiles and those projectiles are going to hit me. And then the turret's going to aggro onto Teemo. And I actually get first blood without dealing any damage to him, which is pretty cool. So you can use this in lane when you're behind or um, when your AD carry has died and you're just there by yourself. Because you want to obviously stop the enemy ADC from getting damage onto your turret for free. So you put up your shield, they take a couple of turret hits, have to back out, and then wait for your shield to go down before they can attack again. Which is pretty nice. Um, it can give you a small advantage in lane, especially if you're behind. So yeah, um, those are all the Braum tips for today, guys. Um, if you guys have any, please tell me down below in the comments. I'm probably going to do more stuff like this, so if you're interested, subscribe. And yeah, just thanks for watching.